Hey everyone, this is Divyansh and today's video is The Anatomy of a Viral Quora Answer Lo, finally, I'm making a video uh, So this is the most asked question that I like. I get any popular quote and gets like Have you cracked the algorithm? Do you know any secret tips, secret tricks to get views on Quora? I don't um, I don't know about others but I don't But I've been writing on Quora for 5 years now and just for the people who don't know I have almost 70 73 75000 something followers there uh, more than 30 million views so along the way I have noticed certain things certain trends certain ways in which you answer so as to attract more views so the idea is that I'm quickly going to go through my Quora account along with you guys and list out the most viewed Quora answers and just talk about why I wrote certain things the way i did why i use certain images the way i use and why those particular answers caught the views that they got all right so um, let's just dive right into it so i've just opened this quora uh, page and i'm really amazed by the very first question what do i do if i'm in love with my girlfriend's daughter do just go and run away somewhere else anyway so i'm just going to you know the idea is i'm going to take you through my quora account and um, we're going to see my most viewed answers and uh, i'm just going to speak what i learned with them um my feed is quite clunky i don't know i i think i i'll have to change my bio once um anyway all time views uh this is the most viewed answer i think of mine what is the one piece of simple advice that actually changed your life so this is a short story uh, one of the best ones that i've written some really mind fuck stuff goes on over there and the first thing that you're going to have to notice is the question itself okay i think this question had a lot of views if, yeah i think it had a lot of followers people had already written on it so this is one of the things which i have noticed i don't know whether it's true or not but if you answer a question with like one or three answers only it's probably going to bomb if you answer a question with like 800 900 answers or more than that that is also on a bomb because so many people have written on that so there is this cute midway that you have to find in between okay so if you are really aiming for the views i mean i don't sort out the questions these when i just like i answer whatever i want to answer but if you are looking for it you know you have to select your questions very carefully um one word of advice do not pick questions from your request list pick questions which are coming on your feed if it's coming on your feed it's going to be going on the feeds of many other people and if you're going to write on those questions that's going to go on the feed of many other people um anyways we are going to talk about this answer if you're going to notice and if you're going to notice any short story that i'm writing online so these are 5 minute 10 minute reads and i'm still getting like thousands and thousands and thousands of views this story i think it has got um 551000 views today and wow that is amazing but um the curious thing that you'll have to know why will people click on that story so i'm just going to refresh it and i, I want to show you the card um because that is uh, the key to why my stories go viral i think one of the aspects beyond writing good stories obviously um the first thing that you'll have to notice is that whatever screen space that you get in this much this is the teaser you're giving to your followers to the readers okay so you have to make it click in just these lines the first 10 15 words that you're writing um it's truly essential so the thing that will catch anyone's attention in this answer is i recently sat next to a gorgeous woman in a flight that's it lots of people are sold right here okay sitting next to a gorgeous woman in a flight you know that there is going to be some story in it you don't know what it is but you know there is going to be something so that's uh, you know that's how authors use clickbait i think um and i use this a lot you know it's very simple there are no hard words okay it's just gorgeous woman this is uh, this thing um is going to be really catchy then i was traveling from bangalore to bombay and the flight was delayed okay so you know that there is a story coming on there is the build up people are going to click there is this cute picture of a girl um not an eye candy but you need images to you know break your readers 
um, you know they just don't have to look at chunks of text okay there there has to be one or two images in between that's my philosophy that's how i write um and this one got 550000 views over 31000 upvotes 251 shares 584 comments truly awesome and it's going to be made into a short film also um they have finalized the script and everything and they're just waiting for the corona thing to end to uh, record stuff anyway next one honest grand uh, honest reviews so it's not a honest like my honest rants are based because this formula worked on quora for me and this stuff used to get a lot of views um this is something where it's not an i can be click bit again uh, the x miss universe uh she replied to my message or something like that this was that answer again this one you know write shorter sentences initially okay don't write longer sentences when you begin okay don't ever smoke especially if you're writing a numbered list or something you know it's really eye catchy and people know it's going to be a short read and they're going to click on it uh this one is straight up facts and i think this was written in 2017 on my birthday awesome um you write facts on quora at least one answer will go viral again this was written in 2017 it's been a while what are your damn law uh, ten laws of manhood you put the image of harvey specter over there it's cool but just look at the words okay class over swag just three words over there just three words people are going to click on this answer it has 19000 plus of votes right now and uh, okay how many views it? all right almost 300000 views so just class over swag you know three words whatever you are writing the you know initially for one i would say for the first paragraph keep keep your sentences short okay keep it simple keep it short use numbered lists use those bullets i use them a lot uh, it brings lots of clarity okay again uh, honest review answer 12000 upvotes um again um the dots thingy lots of upvotes something trending it was at the time ah the sans i was waiting for this one what things i should never do see this no clickbait image i could have done considered an image of an incredibly pretty and voluptuous woman wearing nothing but an oversized white t-shirt whatever uh but this answer was fun again no clickbaits just the text so i received a whatsapp text from an unknown girl yesterday how many of you are not going to click on that story it's so simple okay imagine you're a guy you're getting a whatsapp text the previous night from an unknown girl you read words like incredibly pretty and voluptuous women people are going to click on it okay it's not like i designed it this way but that's how i begin my stories you know keep it simple introduce certain things that are going to catch their attention your words have to be your clickbait you know and uh, you know if the story is awesome it gets the views it gets the upvotes it has like 16000 upvotes almost 96 shares to 52 comments and yeah again 260000 views awesome um shit i have to remove this image how is this still over there um okay 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 who are you beyond beyond kora this is my uh, pen dancer so this gets lots of views use yourself as a clickbait if you want um, that wasn't the purpose behind it but i like answers with lots of images to insert this to you know build a space between just reading continuous texts you get an image you read text you get an image it doesn't tire out your readers brain okay that's the philosophy behind it um all right rajan tata viewed my profile this one has a lot of views okay i did not know that um all right all right all right more honest reviews thugs of hindu oh this one was one of the most viral answers i remember i uploaded this at like 10 in the night i slept i woke up in the morning and at that time kora still used to show you know people upvoting your answers so there was this big chunk of uh, like so and so people so many people have voted this answer and uh, they were like like this 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 and 10000 other people have voted this answer so this got crazy views on the very first day itself and just stopped the very next day i hate this algorithm sometimes um again this story what's the scariest experience that you have ever had 
no image no click baits it was probably 2 in the night when i got her text that's it uh, wow i've used this uh, twice actually come to think of it i was probably it was probably 2 in the night when i got her text your reader is already curious okay one you know t- getting text at 2 in the night that's basic but her text who is her let's call her j j wants to send you a message on instagram notification popped up so it's a stranger a strange girl messaging you late last night okay that's the hook you need and if you can produce some awesome uh, story underneath it it's going to get the views um it's going to get the comments and again this is the thing i've noticed that the more shares your answer has the more comments your answer has uh it improves the visibility so do not be that cocky guy who never replies to your followers comments I don't get time to reply to quora messages as is evidenced by this 110 100 messages but I do reply to most of the comments that I get especially the comments which I get in the like first one or two hours after writing an answer and it works you know um this was one when I met Ankita it got crazy views I don't know why that was a crazy crazy month again this answer my uh, girlfriend stormed into my room last night crying her eyes out you have a dramatic scene over there you don't need a clickbait for that that story has like 5000 plus upvotes and again another viral story so wow i have a lot of viral stories out there i thought wasn't the case but uh, yeah it got crazy views you know just the uh, initial sentences that's it you don't again i'm going to say no hard words simple sentences probably you can write there was a girl who messaged me sometime who came into my room crying last night who threw a chappal at me something like that you know just the first line is catchy enough people read your stuff um should i go on i think this was the one um this was a sherlock this was the process of deducing like sherlock holmes so if you, again if you write answers which are going to be different from the leak um people love those answers they remember you much easily you know so i if i was writing fictional crossovers people remembered me if i was writing honest reviews people remembered me if i if i'm writing how to deduce like sherlock no one else is writing that people are going to remember me the more people remember you the more they're going to follow you the more visibility you are going to get okay again introduce a photo like this like chi yaar matlab i don't even know why i am what's this post like that's so fake and that's so bad and this has 12000 upvotes okay that's crazy uh stuck in a crowded place the first five words all in caps people have their attention there you get your visibility um all right all right all right all right more honest reviews stuff like that so i think that's most of more honest reviews i should start writing honest reviews again just fyi i wrote an answer like this also a long time ago this was 2016 who are the most beautiful hollywood actresses you know just google the top 50 hollywood actresses who are gorgeous and introduce their images and you are going to get a viral answer so i that was popular back then in 2016 17 and i was really new i don't even think i had a thousand followers back then and i wrote i'm sorry got me the views at least um and more images of yourself um anyway so something i want to talk about and i'm going to Yeah, I'm gonna close this one. Something I'm gonna talk about with respect to your content, with respect to your uh, answers. When you're writing, do not write more than like four lines, especially because it gets hard when people are reading it on their phone. So, just four lines, break it in a chunk, uh, break the chunk, and keep those pieces coming in. Um, if you see my answers, uh, I use this lots of times. I use these lines. they are very good for the eyes of your readers trust me you know people need those kind of readers in between use that um if you're writing uh, what i want to say yeah if you're writing like longer pieces use these things i use them a lot in my uh, stories uh, especially when i'm writing a conversation between two people so it's good to read and it's something different you people just go through it fast so they don't realize that they have covered up a chunk of a uh, portion of your answer but they move along fast and so they are going to stick till the end okay that improves the prob- probability especially if you're writing a bigger answer like me 
you need this a lot and this looks quite appealing quite good cora is very clean in this in these terms you know certain things i'm going to say out loud clickbait's work everywhere the more skin the girls in your clickbait are showing the less number of upvotes you are going to get okay so it ultimately impacts your like however cora ranks you your answers it impacts that that you're getting views maybe 100000 views but in comparison to that you're going to get like just 100 upvotes which is really bad you know you have to keep your upvote view ratio good i don't know what's the correct ideal ratio but uh, people say and i've heard this from around uh, from other forums only like 1 is to 40 is a good upvote to view ratio to keep on your core answers um use spaces i don't use them like this much but there are people who are going to write one answer they're going to share it in like 100 other spaces kind of case of the views i think um like cora is trying to become like reddit and it's like left in the middle somewhere so earlier when again like as a writer who has been writing for a long time earlier your answers used to get like views so quickly for the past at least one or two months it's it has gone down drastically so i think they are like tweaking algorithm sometimes they're promoting the answer shared in spaces more sometimes they're not and i have stopped using my mind about that so right now if something goes viral it does if something doesn't it doesn't um it's a crazy thing answers going viral you know um most people think they don't know cora it has like hundreds and thousands of visitors just from india alone so your answers get shared on facebook on whatsapp on twitter um just like a couple of hours ago i got a message from uh, this film production company uh the answer which went viral on cora 2 3 days ago um they contacted me they wanted to make a short film on it so you know you don't know where your answers are going to land up um it's a crazy thing going viral is definitely good and you should try it try everything in the book okay don't be like main to satyavadi harish chandra hu to main ladki ki photo nahi dalunga use that see if it's taking you anywhere okay if something else is working for you people are putting in memes people are putting in screenshots i don't know why those screenshot answers are so popular on quora but they are and again if your main aim is just to go viral go and follow these trends okay see what's trending pick up the stuff from your quora feed not the answer feed uh one more thing i'm going to tell you it's the timing of your answers okay so like i have fixed certain times i either publish my answer at 12 in the afternoon or at 6 in the evening or somewhere around these times because i feel this time has good amount of traffic if you're answering at like right now to in the night it's not going to get much views you know focus on your craft first without worrying about views once you have written a draft read it it completely edit stuff the first 15 words 20 words that you are going to get they are the trailer for the movie so make them good make them uh, catchy doesn't mean you have to use hard words just have to be a catchy okay just could be the girl you saw in the coffee shop the gorgeous girl you saw in the coffee shop that will get you views okay so these are certain things again as a writer you know what's going to catch people's attention so you write that stuff automatically i don't even think of these things um but the girls for some reason are always gorgeous in my stories um change karna padega let's see if this works or not uh i'm going to try certain new stuff again but i hope these things whatever i have spoken right now are helpful to you and they get you your views and your viral answers hope this helps bye hey guys hope that video was helpful um do share this video around with other people whom you know who write on quora um i have been there for 2 years when i wasn't getting any views and that honestly sucks so if it helps um i'll be the happiest person in the world um do drop your comments uh, do drop your suggestions if there is something which i missed which works for you do share it um talk about it on quora you know just ask whether this stuff actually works or not because this has been working for me but not, might not have been working for anyone else 
also sorry for uh, this this is my editing phase and i totally forgot to record this ending clip message um so um, not going to waste any more time this has been a long video um do share this around um go and follow my insta if you're following me on insta and not on youtube go and subscribe me on youtube hope this helps bye